Welcome back. All right, from that music break, uh, we're introducing our guests on the show this afternoon. We're all ladies. Mm, and like I like to say, it's usually not intentional, you know, when we have like an all-female cast on the show. It's just, you know, what it is. And we're still expecting one more lady. We hope she makes it. She's stuck in traffic, but she'll be joining us. But sitting close by to her, world famous, world renowned. <laughs> publicist of all time yes because she represents a lot of the big brands in the entertainment industry today and i'm talking seriously and she's a journalist you know by the side amongst other things image maker muti atali good afternoon how are you good afternoon mm. I'm fine. you know people say big things come in small, small packages, packages. Yes. Yes. yes when you're big you're large when you're small you know, you just keep it cool yes Ooh, see, i know that she i know that she she's doing what she's doing yeah all right it's all good and at the end of the table over there looking uh like Nicki minaj oh. yes <laughs> with her hair uh she's a nigerian uh artist and she's been in the game for a bit and of course uh she's she's made a little name for herself but she's still climbing it's a pleasure to have veronique ada here with Missing us on the cool. show. Thank you. Let's Let's see. See. Uh, bon, 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 bonsoir. Is it bonsoir? Bonjour. Okay, bonjour. Yeah. This is bonsoir afternoon. Yeah. It's bonsoir not morning. Yeah, you, you can still say bonjour. Bonjour. Yeah. Mm, so, you're welcome. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thanks for coming on the show. Yeah. All right, so before we get to talking about uh, you, Veronique, we'll discuss, let's discuss about the industry. You know, Mutiat is a stakeholder in the industry and you are a player in the industry. So mm -hmm. let's talk entertainment. Yes, yes. Meanwhile, we have to let our uh, audience know that you can interact with us. The number you can send an SMS to is 0708 It will be on the screen shortly. And also we have our social media. Um, and that's on Facebook, www.facebook.com forward slash Galaxy TV. And on Twitter at official Galaxy TV, knowing that you could get a watch previous editions of the bars or what you need to do is subscribe to a youtube channel mm. galaxy tv nigeria that's right yesterday we started on a topic bordering on sexual harassment especially in your place of work or in the industry you know where you ply your 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 trade and this is coming on the heels of a video that was released recently uh of uh, uh nollywood actress uh, Steph Nora Okere. Mm -hmm. All of the years we have known her as a screen goddess, nothing like this was ever tied to her name. And all of a sudden, this video came out where she alleged she actually went through abuse, you know, or sexual harassment while in Nollywood. And uh, well, let's let's see that clip. When we come back, we'll talk a bit about about all of this. Yeah, I did. And that's one of the things that spurred me to uh, set up my NGO. If I say I did not, I'll be lying. Maybe over the years, I've held it back. Over the years, I've tried not to talk about it because my family said, let it go, let it pass. Yeah, I was harassed. I was harassed by a very famous producer who actually put a knife to my neck. It's a story for another day. So I went through that. I almost actually left Nollywood at a point. After that happened, my family said, that's it, enough for acting. Now you cannot go. Can you not go look for a job? Because from the get-go, they never really supported this acting thing. My dad thought it was a hobby. It's a hobby that you need to just do on the side while doing the main thing. I couldn't tell him that a producer tried to kill me, put a, a knife to my neck and told me to strip. I couldn't tell him. Right, that's the clip there. And we heard what the actress said. She was, a knife was put on her neck and she was told to strip, you know, all in the name of getting a movie role. Ah, uh, Muti, let's talk about this. How are our creative mm, people being harassed, you know, because, you know, they want to be prominent in their chosen career? Um, well, for me, I think um, 
<coughs> a, a lot of people in the industry, most especially um, the up and coming, mm -hmm. they want to do anything, you know, to get fame. A lot of them um, will want to go as far as um, getting any movie role. They want to play lead role. This is you just coming up as an <coughs> artist. You take one step at a time. Mm. A lot of people just dabble into the entertainment industry without even having a background of it. There are thespian in the industry that knows the nitty gritty of either acting or um, the movie industry at large. Mm. But um, I stand mm. to be corrected, but I know a lot of upcoming artists can do any shady things to get to the top. Mm -hmm. At least, um, without mentioning names, there are some upcoming actresses I had their interview of recent, and in one of the conversations I asked, what is one desperate thing you can do to get a movie room? And she said, even if the director asks me to go down, I will just to get the lead room. So is that bad? But let's not also forget that as it is for the female, don't be surprised that we also have that for the male. Mm -hmm. Male also mm -hmm. gets <coughs> harassed. Especially now, especially now that the issue around sexual preferences, you know, yes. is being treated with kids' gloves, if you know what I mean. Yes. <laughs> I don't want to hit the nail on the head. But <laughs> Let me help you. Yeah. The gay thing. <laughs> yes. You know, <laughs> especially now. So men are getting more and more harassed and doing things out of their their will, you know. But let's let's bring Veronique in. You, I know you do music and all, all that. How is it like in the music business? Is there this kind of harassment as well? Well, um, for me, um, I would say I'm lucky because um, I do everything myself. I sponsor my music career myself. I am not expecting anybody to do anything for me for now. So it's, 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 a, it's a different thing for me. Like I've not been through somebody trying to harass me. Of mm. course, people have talked to me about, about you know, this. having something with yeah. them, but not mm. harassing mm. me. Mm. For instance, um, somebody contacted me on Facebook from Italy. He's mm. one of the, like, a big designer, mm -hmm. and he's got his own um, brand. And um, he told me, he said he likes me, I look beautiful, he would want me to model for, to model for his brand. Mm -hmm. And then I said, okay, and then he was telling me that I have to live with him. I'm, I told him, I'm sorry. I said, as much as I want to my, jail. my career, yeah. as much as I, I, I'm working hard on my career, mm -hmm. I can't do what you want because I know I've got the talent and I've got everything it takes to get up there. Like, mm -hmm. I, can't, I, can't, I can't imagine doing that just because I want to be up there. Mm -hmm. Like, I can't imagine myself, I'm sorry because I'm a woman that I have so much respect for myself and um, I believe in myself. So I don't think I would like to, you know, do such thing. Mm -hmm. All right, um, um, Muti, <coughs> I know we've actually seen a lot of um, artists or rather mm -hmm. actors that have come out to, to debunk the rumor that, okay, no, mm -hmm. it's, it's all the lazy ones that keep on saying they're harassing them sexually. And we've even seen some other up and coming actors too that's that actually laid allegation on some other ones too but nothing have actually been done about it so now what's your own idea about this whole thing because i know there was this um indigenous, indigenous um actor a yoruba actor yeah, you're that's a lady i think i need to mention any name <laughs> <laughs> that's my problem yeah. all right that a lady actually said she he kind of like wanted to mm. but nothing happened so what's really the reason behind this? Okay, um, I think for me, a lot still needs to be done um, in the industry, generally. There is need for proper check and balances so that the industry can further go you know, forward. You can't say, um, just like every other profession, they have their body. Their body regulates every activity that, you know, that is being carried out. Now in Nollywood, they have AGN which is the Actors Guild of Nigeria. Of Nigeria yeah. Then for the Yoruba, they had, there are several. Mm. There is um, Tampan, there is Golden Ambassador, there is several ambassadors. Is that still ANTP? This yes. Still ANTP. Okay. Mm. And at the end of the day, mm. their decisions don't work together. Mm. When AGN are passing theirs this way, Tampan, and every other uh, mm -hmm. body, we'll the they're also way. going this way. Oh. I think at the end of the day, what um, the industry needs is um, 
the gathering of Tespia, you know, that can further promote the image of the brand. A lot need, especially in Nollywood, you can't just wake up tomorrow morning and say, oh, I have a nice script, I want to shoot a movie. Fine, you may have your fund, but at the end of the day, do you have the capacity to forge ahead? Mm. Mm. So that's the essence of most of these professional body. If AGN can work as one, if, if possible, let them screen scripts. Let's know the kind of movie you want our kids, you want to viewers watch. to watch. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, a lot of kids <laughs> absorb what they saw on TV. And they begin to react with it. A lot still needs to be done in the entertainment industry, generally, not just Nollywood, even in the music industry. You shoot musical video and your ladies are half naked. Then at the end of the day, you see kids, you know, practicing it in and front of the TV way, yeah. and dancing that way. Mm -hmm. And you ask them, where did you learn it from? Eh, from Mr. A's uh, musical video. So at the end of the day, are we doing better to promote the country at large? Are we doing better to promote our own personality as a person? So at the end of the day, we still need proper check and balance. Hmm. All right, let, let's tie all this, you know, to desperation on the part of the upcoming artists themselves, you know, who are willing to do anything and everything as long as they make it, you know, like they say, uh, and, and all of that. What do you think is the reason for this kind of desperation? Veronique, you are fortunate. Yeah. You can you at least, money. you know, uh, push yourself to an extent because you have some funds. How about that person who knows he or she has a talent but doesn't have the funds, you know, to move on? Uh, what, what should those kind, of, those kind of people do, really? For me, I'm mm. not going to speak on behalf of them because I'm not in their shoes to mm. know what exactly mm. it, they're, going through. they're going through. But for me, as a woman, you should have some respect for yourself. I know is um, I know is everybody wants to make it in life. Mm -hmm. Everyone everybody wants to achieve their dreams and be up there. But that shouldn't give you the right to, you know, mess around or you know, sometimes uh, sometimes it's not their fault because maybe they don't have the fun to 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 sponsor themselves, but that shouldn't even give you the right mm. to, to accept for a man to humiliate you. Mm. You understand? If you, have a res you, if you have respect for yourself, of course, for me, my, the kind of woman I am, I can do anything for love, but I can't do anything for money. Even if you like, give me the whole world. I can't do what I don't want to do mm. just because of money or because of um, fame. Mm. Because fame is something that comes today and um, how are you sure you're going to be up there tomorrow? tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So I it's think you shouldn't fitting. sell your mm. dignity just mm. to make it. I'm mm. sorry. Mm. That is how mm. it But then be. everybody wants to be like a success in whatever yeah. they do. And they want to ball. People are ready to do anything. Let's talk about, um, what about the other, like, let's, say, let's talk about the managers. Let's talk about the managers in the industry. Mm. I mean, that takes money from people. Mm. I mean, they are not helping matters too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I've been duped like three times. Tell us about wow. that. Mm. Yeah, three times. Like all this manager, like there was a time because there was a time I, I was broken, I was depressed. You know, I went through, but I believe it made me stronger. Mm -hmm. I, that, that made me the woman I am today because mm -hmm. when I came back at first, I was a very soft person. I was mm -hmm. generous. I was nice. I was kind. You know, people would complain. They would tell me, oh, this country, you don't have to be kind to people. You don't have to be nice to people. But I still felt like, because I would want people to be kind to me, because mm -hmm. I want people to respect me, um, I think they deserve the same. But, you know, it, it, it's, it's <laughs> the industry is difficult, right? It's really, really difficult, I would say. Like, People are not honest. Okay. People are not loyal. You know, and, and it's killing the dreams. Like, if, if you're not strong enough, you will give up. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Um, like what she just said right now, she spoke about managers. And um, I've heard, I don't know, <laughs> of some managers that still even dupe and date 
they deceive them because if they mm. probably see that she's actually a money bag and they know they can as well milk mm -hmm. milk her so they give her all the affection mm -hmm. collect all the money no, and they still don't do anything the thing is that i'm married okay okay i'm married i have a kid okay. so okay. it's okay. not about that, dating it's, a, it's yes. about paying it's about you business. and you doing your job, your job and then you no i'm just trying to say that and a side thing there's some managers of course mm -hmm. you know what i'm talking about yeah. so managers that have probably duped the artist dating them and also collecting their money it, 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 even, even in some cases um, the manager might not necessarily date the artist but may presume to the public oh you want to that get is, mr a you okay to to pay me yeah. so, so, so amount yeah you'll get the person in your school in your camp you know in your event, in your event. Mm. and at the end of the day when it backfires that's when we get to see it in the media that mm. so, so so person collected one million naira on behalf of mm. and at the end of the day the artist is not even in the picture from day one mm. But at the end of the day, a lot of people will not blame the manager. Don't blame the artist. It's still because it's the, the name of the artist, you know, that people know. Okay, it's just like, yeah. like okay, let's take but for instance. That is one thing that, that, that is one thing that hurts so much. Like, it hurts. You work so hard, sleepless night. To like, I didn't, I didn't, like, for instance, I was supposed to travel, like, mm -hmm. to France for Christmas. I didn't travel. That mm -hmm. is to tell you how much, they, um, how much I'm dedicated to my to dream job. yeah i left my daughter she's only nine she mm -hmm. traveled alone i stayed back in nigeria mm -hmm. to pursue my career and then you can't tell me that somebody from nowhere would just come and take your money mm -hmm. without even having any conscience no mm -hmm. feelings mm -hmm. it's crazy mm -hmm. like and what did you do to the person what will i do like how many people are you going to fight how many people are you going to chase like those energies you are using to chase them like you can use it for creativity like but you, but you know what i think that is part of the problem the fact that you we let things go, go. Mm. it's not being wicked it is not being wicked when you pursue issues to a, log a logical conclusion if you know or you, you get, get justice yes. it is not wickedness like someone dupes you I think you should follow it through and okay, see um, that something is done because it is a crime. It's part of the reason. The person, Everybody okay, likes like, like, okay, like now, it, mm. like um, I think in the industry, a lot of people come out to say, "Oh, I was sexually harassed," or you know, attempted to be harassed by so 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 person. We get to read it in news, and at the end of the day, we don't get to know the end story. The person who came to report it, the person get the right justice at the end of the day mm. okay what if the case was taken to the police station what happens what happened to the do we yeah. do, do we get our justice at the end of the sometimes day? you know yeah so because at times take for the instance, fear of the mm. fear of you saying it out and at the end of the day they you don't get, get the anything. justice you deserve so a lot of people just want to keep yeah. quiet the reason yeah. i didn't go to police because mm. i had experiences with police <laughs> when that's I what we're talking to about Nigeria. yeah so that was mm. if that was like after spending so many years in france i came back to nigeria I, that was the first time i had a blackberry mm -hmm. i bought a blackberry and normally when you buy a, a phone in, in france you have to wait for like two months or three months because you, before you can use it in africa mm -hmm. so i haven't used that phone as soon as then we were in gabon i bought i they, my husband bought the phone for me mm -hmm. as a christmas gift and then i came back to nigeria that was the first time i came that I decided to do music. Mm -hmm. That was the first single I did, and I decided mm -hmm. to come all the way from Gabon to Nigeria. Nigeria, okay, to do the single. And then when I got to the hotel, because I booked my hotel on, online and everything, so when I got there, it wasn't what you I saw. was expecting. Mm -hmm. So you know, when they took me upstairs to check other rooms, somebody entered my room, they took the Blackberry that I've not used and they left so after i went back to the room i was looking for the blackberry and um, i couldn't find it i went to the hotel and then they discovered that somebody went inside but i took the case to the police station oh, jesus that was the last time i told myself if i have issues in this country <laughs> i will never ever go to the police station because i will go to the police station i was i was supposed to spend like two weeks but because of that, I spent one week. I would go to the police station every day. I didn't have a, a car. I didn't have a driver. I would wait from morning till night. I would pay the taxi, maybe like 20 something thousand naira, because he's waiting for me. They were just like this, mm. like this, come, today, come tomorrow. And then I, I got tired. They were even calling me. I told him, I said, I'm sorry. 
I'm not interested I'm not in the kissing. Again. So those are yeah. the reasons mm. why, why a lot of these I have those don't... issues yes. Yes. and I didn't say anything. This is like three times. Mm. And this time I told myself, if anybody does that to me again, I'm going to use that person as an example. <laughs> Okay, so you have to Are take you the laws use, into your hands. Yes, take the laws into your yes, hands. Yes, I'm going to. You can't yes, take the laws into your hands. Because it's hand. painful. It's, mm. it's painful. That, that's the purpose of discussing issues like this on TV. Yeah. You might think they are not listening, but of course they. I'm, you I'm never just, know. I'm just being honest. You I'm never know. I'm just being plain. Mm. I'm just being myself. I agree. The just the judicial system. <laughs> you know, something needs to be done to see that people get justice. You the know, judicial, especially when they deserve it. Or the police. It's at all times down. Yeah, from, from the, the police, police you get to yeah. So it's the same thing. You know, this um, sexual harassment in the entertainment business is not uh, is is not peculiar to Nigeria alone. If you yeah. recall, in the, rec in the recent past, uh, even America has had its own fair share. Mm -hmm. I think that's even what motivated the hashtag Me Too movement. Me Too movement. You know, and that powerful speech by Oprah Winfrey at the Golden Globes and all of that. People like world famous producers like harvey weinstein uh even the popular bill cosby and we all saw mm -hmm. through the media how they were all disgraced yes. you know all because they you know through the the the, the length of mm -hmm. their career they abused a women a lot of people you know all, all of that even though they didn't just do it now it's still caught up with them because they have a, a judicial system that works. that works you know but that's what we should be talking about Don't worry, no, uh, we'll so change. that eh? we'll they should change. do something about how cases are being handled because you can't just let everybody who dupes you cool. go and to be celebrated. The main thing is... Let them go. That means you are in, you're supporting it, 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 them. I'm not supporting yeah. them. I'm not supporting them. But the thing is that I didn't have the time. I don't have the time to start chasing people. Because it's a lot of stress. It's a lot of energy. And how are you sure you're going to get back your money? And how are you sure they're not going to bribe the... the police. Whatever. <laughs> and, and, and for you... The, I mean, it, I just feel like it's a wasted time. Yeah. And with time, I'm, I'll still get to them with time okay. i'm not i've not i'm not done with them yet but for now <laughs> yeah, no. yes but for now i'm just focused on my career yeah. okay. because this is the yeah. main thing for we need me to right we now. need to keep talking about it okay. all right okay. viewers are, media. yeah viewers are actually uh responding and then i have to mention sorry there's a mix up in the topic the topic is sexual harassment in the entertainment okay. industry okay. it's not get rich quick so mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> you don't confuse people it's sexual harassment in the entertainment industry all right um this one, Amobi from Ikotun says, Good day, ladies. I think entertainers should be schooled about the business aspect of entertainment mm -hmm. and they should retain lawyers to handle issues for them. Mm -hmm. um, that's a good one, but the lawyers will still go to our courts mm -hmm. and it still boils down to the same thing. So yeah, if something is not done, done about our justice system, uh, then you, you won't get so much, so much out of it. This one says, I want to be an actress and I don't know how to go about it. I'm in Nigeria. Okay. <laughs> uh, Emmanuel Abuchi says, I'm a music producer and instrumentalist in Agege Dopemo. The truth is that, oh, I hope people will just stop calling. Please just stop calling me so that we can have a smooth program. The truth is the managers are playing an important role in the industry because without their music will be like a marketplace where they sell tomatoes and pepper we will not be able to shuffle the best and there will be no good music because of the crowd that's your opinion though uh this other one says i will attribute sexual harassment mostly in the entertainment industry to societal perception of wealth making we live in a society where we celebrate wealth look at the happenings in big niger <laughs> in big brother niger show young people want to be rich famous rich famous and as such they do whatever that we aid them in achieving their goals is pathetic shedrach from lagos uh sent that one in <laughs> I guess we've discussed um, Big Brother Nigeria. That was like um, two weeks ago or thereabouts yeah. patients. Yeah. So it's something in mm. which um, a lot of young people see some stuff on TV. 
I know TV, music video has to do with this make believe. You get to see an yeah. artist that doesn't even have suke suke and he's in a Bentley, mm -hmm. yeah. and you want to be like that person. You get to see them with the bling bling. Thank God now for the red cups that they get to use for and music videos. So we don't even know whether it's water that is in there <laughs> or champagne. Mm. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Mm. So what do you think needs to be done? Is it the media itself? Because even if an artist decides not to even put his song out on a TV station, it still gets to any of the social network. <laughs> and it blows. Muti, let me start with you. Um... <laughs> okay, um, the truth is, whether an artist um, has the means or not, like a lot of upcoming artists these days don't, don't even believe in TV stations. They believe once they have their audio, they have it on not just okay, they have it on too exclusive, the rest is history. So they feel those platforms will give them what they want. Mm -hmm. But I think it's also high time most TV stations also screen the type of content they receive from entertainers. Musically, in the movies, probably you should also be conscious of the kind of content they want to sell on your show. Because at the end of the day, it still boils down to the fact that, let's assume I saw um, a movie on your screen, on, on Galaxy TV, and at the end of the day, I couldn't pick out a message after wasting one and a half, or you know, one hour, 30 minutes watching the movie. Fine, I may, you know, take a bash on um, the producer. But at the end of the day, if I want to spread the gospel, I'll tell them, oh, I watch one quick, quick movie on Galaxy. Mm -hmm. Please, mm -hmm. you can check other station. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, it's also, you know, it's a win-win thing. Okay. But I think a lot still needs to be done when it comes to the way our artists promote their content. Mm -hmm. Social media is not just the only place you can promote your content. Mm. In as much as we want to promote our content, we should also be conscious of the kind of message we are passing across. Mm. Just like you said, BBN, <clears throat> a lot of people have criticized. There was even a time the minister, um, is it the minister or... Yes, uh, yes, yes, Also yes, yes. had to, you know, voice out on Twitter that, don't tell me to regulate. Not, no, yes, you, you should know, talk to your you children. You should talk to your children mm -hmm. because there's a parental control on your remote. Forget the parental control. The government has its role to play in it too. <laughs> and you know, there was there was uh, there was I something that I listened to over the radio, and um, they said, you know, there was time that um, Lion Mohammed actually mm -hmm. said yeah. that he wished that maybe they could build the BBN. I don't think he has even watched the BBN. Mm -hmm. If he has. <laughs> It would not say they should have a BBN in Nigeria. Nigeria. Okay, was it two days true. ago or three mm. days ago? Um, popular actress Juliette Ibrahim had, you know, she had a tackle with one of her fans on um, social media. Yes, you know, she was trying to prove a point that fine, she watches um, BBN, but do you think it is right for a contestant to have sex live? You know, on, like, you know, live on I don't TV even know TV. what I don't know what that thing is supposed to promote, like. That's seriously, and I'm not knocking the program, knocking the show in any way. I'm just expressing my own honest view. I don't watch it anymore. I think I watched like a couple. Yeah, that was like um, it, uh, one, the, the earliest editions. You know, now yes. it's getting but more now, I don't. I totally Do like I'm off it. So yeah, it is. Uh, uh, I don't, on the one hand, we're discussing harassment. how we can solve the problem of, of sexual harassment. harassment, sexual abuse, and on the other hand, have you know. We, you are putting it. You are putting the whole of this whole sexual thing in the faces of the young people. What What do you think we're going to achieve at the at the end of the day? A young boy who is maybe a teenager, you know, at that point is just growing up and beginning to discover his, his his or even a girl his or her sexuality, and then you are making them watch that kind of a thing because they do watch it. Forget parental control; they watch it. What do you think goes on in their system, in their brains, in their minds? They want to experiment. And that's why we're they having to, yes. lots of for, for molestation. Me, it's too much. Kids. For me, too much. Yes. Go for, for that. It's too much. For Big Brother, for me, I'm not against them. I'm not against what they do. But mm. for me, I wouldn't want to. Because like I always say, if you have respect for yourself, mm -hmm. then you don't have to be everywhere. Mm. Of course, when it comes to business, music, music is business, mm -hmm. okay? Well, sometimes you see me, I look... Do what you have to do I, to, my yeah, dressing, to promote your business. Yeah. This is what the people want to see. This is mm -hmm. what they want do to do. you think that's right? 
not does not mean you should go naked, mm -hmm. right? Okay. But when you're talking about um, music, music is business, and the world has changed. Mm -hmm. Like people won't, they don't want to see you wearing you. long. All right, that. let's take a break. <laughs> <laughs> let's take a break, Veronique. Let's go see one of her videos. When we come back, we'll talk about you because our time is going.